G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Flashlight Crazy. This one is crazy. I've got here my six most used regular rotated well tool lights. Number one, the well tool T2 TAC. Number two, the well tool T1 Pro. Number three, the well tool T12 programmable light. Number four, the well tool LH5 head or T13G high CRI dual mode light. Number five, the Welltool LH1 head. And number six, the Welltool T17. Let's check them out. All right, so here they are. The six main Welltool lights that I currently use. Now, if it was up to me, well, it is up to me, but if, uh, if I had it my way, well, I guess I do have it my way, uh, I would have liked to include every single Welltool light that is currently offered by Welltool in this video. But I had to make some cuts and that was important because I really needed to choose, I intended only on choosing the five most used Welltool lights of mine, but I could not cut any of these out. So all of these lights belong here for a very specific reason, and I will go over those uh, specific reasons. But, you know, I wanted the T14B and T14C in this, but I had to cut them, and I had to cut them because of this guy, the uh, T2 TAC, which I'll, which I'll get into. I also wanted the T11 in here as well, but I had to cut that due to this guy, which I'll get in here as well. And I actually wanted the LH3 head, the LEP, in here as well, uh, but I had to cut that out due to both of these two because they're just, they basically do the same thing for my applications, but with extra stuff, uh, more useful stuff for me because I don't use LEPs in my day-to-day -day, uh, world. I think they're amazing, but I don't use them. Okay, so before we get into it, I'm just going to install the batteries and all of these batteries are the batteries that they will come with. So starting with the Welltool T17, I am installing a flat top 3,800 milliamp hour 18650. It's an INR and it is a 3.6 volt lithium battery. In it goes. Next, I am installing the 900 milliamp hour 3.6 volt INR uh, 14500 and that's going into the T1 Pro. Next is the Welltool 3000 milliamp hour, 3.6 volt uh, high drain, 15 amp INR lithium battery going into the Welltool T2 TAC. Next is the 1200 milliamp hour, 3.6 volt, 18350 lithium battery. And that is going into, it's a bit of a, a mixture, this one. So that's going into the T13G with a different tail cap. because so I like this smaller tail cap, but it's the LH5 head with the high CRI 4000K uh, emitter. Next is the Welltool 1200 milliamp hour, 3.6 volt, 18350 again. And that is going into another little setup that I created uh, from the Welltool lineup. So it is the LH1 head, arguably the very best pocketed handheld uh, throw out light you can get on the market now. But I have put it on the BB6 18350 body and the TC70 high output 50, uh, 10 amp, I think it is 10 amp tail cap. So I like that it's unshrouded and just ready to go. And finally is the 3000 milliamp hour 3.6 volt 18650 button top lithium battery going into the all new Welltool T12 programmable light. Okay, here we are. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down the line and I'm gonna explain why these six lights have made it into the Well Tools most used uh, lights by Flashlight Mike, which is me, Flashlight Crazy, Flashlight Mike. And I'm going to explain why they have made it and specifically what I use them for. So, starting with the T12. Ever since I received this uh, and you know it hit the market and I received it, I have had this next to my bed every night next to my bed because at night time I have two lights next to my bed. I have a self-defense light, which is this one now. 
It used to be the T2TAC, and before the T2TAC, it was the T14C. But the reason it is, oh, sorry, and the other light I have is a light that I use just to shine if I wake up in the middle of the night needing to use the toilet or something like that. So that's normally uh, like a DCO on, uh, on low mode, or a ray light on moonlight mode, or a zebra light on moonlight mode. Or the Malkoff uh, 1AA, which, is, uh, which has a phenomenal moonlight mode as well. But I also have a self-defense light. And this one is my current self-defense light. And reason being is because of the mode group B that this offers. Now, remember, for anyone who hasn't seen my video of the T12, I urge you to go see it. This is a phenomenal light. It, has, it is programmable and it has three programming modes, programming A, B, and C. Program A, I'll just get it to you, get it there, all right? It's very easy to program, so just gonna do this. Okay, that's program A now. So program A, from off, a momentary gets you to full power, a full click in gets you to half power, which is a thousand lumens, and a half press from on gets you to low mode. This, that's a great, this is a great kind of, utility light, uh, utility mode group for people on duty that are, that are going to need only momentary blast of power, but then a sustained output uh, of, you know, about a thousand lumens for a long period of time, but with the option to swap to low if needed. Okay. Now I'll get you to mode group C because that's the next, because uh, mode group B is the one I keep it in. So I'll do that last. So mode group C, Tap, 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 that's mode group A, that's mode group B, that's mode group C. So mode group C is the proper tactical mode group. It is the mode group that you are gonna wanna have this light in if you know you do not need a low mode ever. If you just need blinding, distracting, horrendously crazy light. So again, a half press gets you to turbo, 2000 lumens, and 141,000 candela if you don't mind. And a full click in, gets you strobe at that output, 2000 lumens. But from on, from strobe, a half press gets you to high, which is your 1000 lumens. So this, this programming mode is strictly for its go time, okay? Now, some of you may be thinking, why don't you have it in mode group C, this one, for your self-defense light, what, for your bedside self-defense light? Why don't you have it in this? And the answer is, that's a fair enough question because strobe on this light, on this uh, mode group is just disgustingly disturbing and it is so bloody powerful. I would not want to be on the receiving end of it. However, I'm going to put it back into, I'm going to now put it into mode group B and I'm going to explain why I keep it into that mode group for my next to the bed self-defense light. Here we go. Tap, 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 tap. A... B. Okay, so if I wake up in the middle of the night and I, the adrenaline's pumping because I hear someone downstairs, okay, let's say, or I hear someone drunk or on drugs or something like that, banging at the door or whatever, I grab this light. Now, you've got to picture the scenario because I've been through a scenario like this. So you've got to picture the scenario. You wake up in the middle of the night, your eyes are not adjusted to any light whatsoever, none. They have been asleep for hours, okay? So when you wake up, your night vision is pretty darn good. If you wake up from sleep with your night vision amazing and you click into a turbo mode light, all you are going to do is blind yourself, okay? Even if you shine it at the floor, at the wall, whatever, you are gonna blind yourself. With a light like this, you will blind yourself. So. Mode group C with uh, the highest output going straight into strobe would definitely be a hindrance to an attacker, but from waking up in the middle of the night, it would also hinder me. So I do not want that. The reason why this is next to my bed in mode group B is because from off, when I half press, it comes on in low. Look at that. That is one of the most ingenious things to apply to a light. This mode group is genius because it is the perfect thing for a next to the bed light. The perfect thing. You wake up in the middle of the night, you've woken up because you've heard a noise. You don't know what the heck it is, but you've heard a noise. Now, do you want to grab two lights, 
One that offers you a low mode, I'll just get that to low, one that offers you a low mode and the other that offers you a beast high mode. My opinion, no, you don't. Why don't you wanna do that? Because you want a free hand. If someone comes around the corner and attacks you, you want a free hand to do something with that hand. I don't know if you wanna pick up something else or if you wanna be able to manhandle the person or whatever, you don't wanna have two lights in your hand, in my opinion, and in my experience, to be honest. So this mode group is simply genius because now I can wake up in the middle of the night and it actually happened last night. We live on a main road. There was a few drunks around the area. Now, no one actually came to our door, but my partner and I both heard a really big bang at the front. The dog started barking. I grabbed this light and I was able to to navigate through the house with just the low mode, knowing that all I need to do is smash the tail cap button and I've got turbo 2000 lumens. So it is utterly genius that the owner of Welltool, Danny Zhang, has given us a mode group that offers the lowest output on momentary straight into the highest output with a full click. That is what you want for a self-defense next to the bed light. Now, if I was taking this light out with me and I wanted it for a self-defense light out, most definitely I would have it in mode group C because then it's momentary turbo, full press to strobe, which is what you want outside. But in my house, I need a low mode first because I need to navigate through places. What was that? What was that? What was that? If I had it full clicked in, I'm blinding myself, no doubt about it. So you do not want that. You want the low mode and then all you need to do, the adrenaline's pumping. You cannot get it wrong. You cannot stuff this up. All you have to do is squeeze the tail cap and let go and you've got 2,000 lumens, 140,000 candela of blinding light coming out of this light, out of this torch, flashlight, whatever. This is my next to the bed self-defense light, without a doubt, in mode group B. If I take this light out with me, it's going to be my self-defense light in mode group C, without a doubt. Those two mode groups are my jam for this light. So that is what I use the Welltool T12 programmable light for, the next to the bed self-defense light. Next is this little uh, concoction here, which is the LH1 head on the BB6 body and on a TC70 full output tail cap. My friends, what you are looking at right now is, in my opinion and my estimation and my experience and my observation, let's just add that, uh, that this is the number one best, most useful, pocketable, handheld throwing light. This thing has 89,000 candela, 89,600 I think it is to be exact. Now, by the way, I have no specs in front of me, so I'm just going off what I know about these lights. So if I get some of them wrong, I apologize, but I'm just going off what I know about these lights. Anyway, back to the LH1 head. Uh, so 89,600 candela I think it is, 686 lumens, and single output. This is all you get, okay? Now, why is this such an amazing light for a pocketable thrower? Well, first off, because on the 18350 body like this, it's fairly compact. I mean, look at it next to the T1 Pro. Not that much taller, but obviously the head is enormous because you need the candela. Look at that smooth reflector, just stop it. So this thing is fantastic. It is my pocketed pocketable thrower. Why is it my pocketable thrower? Because if you, okay, so let's compare it to this, right? That's 2000 lumens right there. 141,000 candela. So it's more candela than this guy. It's gonna go further. Yeah, absolutely. But it's enormous and it's very, very bright. This thing, look at that. That is 686, I think, lumens and 89,000 candela. This thing cuts through the knife, cuts through the knife. This thing cuts through the night like a knife and it goes as far as you basically want it to go, looking at it by looking with your eyes, without binoculars or anything. It doesn't disturb the neighbors. It doesn't disturb people down the street like this thing would because this thing is just so damn blinding. Whereas this just goes where you need to go. It offers the most gorgeous, beautiful, drop dead gorgeous spill. And that that pinpoint bloody hotspot just keeps going and it gets bigger and bigger the further away it gets. The, it focuses so well with that 89,000 candela that it lights up everything you need. It is such a perfect spotlight with spill and it fits right in any pocket. 
So this thing is a phenomenal pocketable thrower and it is my dedicated go-to pocket thrower. You chuck this in the pocket and you know you have access to vision hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of meters away without disturbing half the neighborhood. It's just incredible. I urge people to jump on board with the LH1 head on some form of configuration with the well tool because you can chuck it on an 18650 body for added runtime, 18350 body. I mean, come on guys, it's just fantastic and I love it. All right, next is the T13G, which is what the whole light is known as, but it's using the LH5 head, which is a high CRI head. It has two, uh, two modes. It has a low mode and a high mode. Always comes on in low and then off on high. The low mode, I think, is 15 lumens. I could be mistaken, but I think it's 15 lumens. Oh, look at that. Just beautiful. Uh, 15 lumens and the high mode, I think, is 600 lumens. Nothing overdone here. This is just perfect. You've got a high CRI emitter, 4000K, orange peel reflector, Absolutely gorgeous beam profile, like stunning. Now on high, when you move it back, you've got the hot spot getting bigger and bigger. It does mix into the spill, thanks to that orange peel reflector. You've got gorgeous spill, a really, really nice tint. And 600 lumens is by far enough to, to sustain not only a generous uh, time frame, but also there's nothing you're not gonna see with 600 lumens. This one, is my go-to EDC. So this is a fantastic EDC light because this one here is going to be useful everywhere. The 15 lumen low that it always comes on in is fantastic for your close jobs. Just fantastic, it's all you need. But if you need some of that extra light to go a bit further, maybe look up a tree or something, look down an alley, I don't know, whatever you're doing, off and on and you've got it, just with the click of a button. So this is a phenomenal, EDC light, and again, very, very compact. Look at the size of it compared to the T1 Pro, which is a 14500 light. This thing's fantastic. This makes it re into my regular rotation of EDC lights. Compact, 18350, orange peel reflector, high CRI, two mode, EDC light, 4000K. What more could you want? What more could you want? So that is the LH5 head otherwise known as the T13G, and you'll just get it with a different tail cap. It'll be a larger shrouded tail cap. All right, the T2 TAC. This is the dedicated outdoor self-defense light. So the, the Weltool T2, the one before this, was a three-mode light, low, medium, high with memory. The T2 TAC came out because it is your tactical self-defense light. You have a crenulated strike bezel, beautiful, an 18650 body, very, very, very uh, slim line. So just no, not much bigger than the 18650 battery itself. Fits in the hand beautifully, protrudes enough to actually use that strike bezel if needed. And with a full click in, you've got, I think it's four, no, 1800, I think, 1800 lumens. So 1800 lumens with about 45,000 candela, I believe. So now, why is that such a perfect uh, self-defense light? You've got an SFT40 with a smooth reflector down there. So the reason why it's such a perfect self-defense light is because that hotspot is going to be quite large. Why is it gonna be large? Because Danny Zhang has found the sweet spot between lumens and candela. Prior to this one, it was for me, the Welltool T14C, which had now, I hope I'm not mistaken, which had mm, 1,400 lumens, I think, uh, or 1,250 lumens, and no, I think 1,400 lumens, damn it, maybe 1,700 lumens, and about 70,000 candela. So uh, anyway, I can't remember the exact lumens that it had, but it was a nice mix between lumens and candela. This one is nicer. The lumens have been bumped up just a little bit, and the candela brought down by about 20,000 or so. That means that the hotspot is enormous. Why is that important? Because that's going to engulf somebody's face much easier. I used this. Uh, I had my partner shine me in the face with this in my self-defense video that's on my channel. And this one was utterly blinding. The lumen output 
mixed in with the 40, 45-ish thousand candela was absolutely perfect for blinding. It consumed my face from over a meter away, got me real good. And uh, this one is my dedicated self-defense light. Now, the reason why this light's also really, really amazing is because it every time you click it, it's gonna come on in this, right? High, high lumens, high, high candela. Uh, but one, two, three, four, Oop, one, two, three, four, click, you've got low mode. So this is a hidden low mode. The reason why it's hidden is because you have to intend on putting it into low mode. You can't accidentally go into low mode. Why don't you want to accidentally go into low mode? Because it's a self-defense light. You do not want to accidentally go into low mode with a self-defense light. You want to be damn sure you're going into low mode with a self-defense light. I can signal with this. I can friggin' turn it back, or turn it straight on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. Doesn't matter, signal, SOS whatever, it's not gonna go into low mode when I'm doing that. I have to, from off, one, two, well, one, two, three, four, click. That is how you get into low mode. So it has the option to get into low mode if you know you need, need to use low mode for something. I mean, we all need a low mode, guys. But you have the main access is your self-defense output, which is, you know, 14 to 17,000 candela, ah, 14 to 17,000, no which is 14 to 1700 uh, lumens and 45, 40 to 45,000 candela. Just perfect, fantastic. Through hole cooling as well, same as the T12, uh, which adds, which reduces the amount of heat that it's going to accrue in the head. And just a phenomenal light, fantastic outdoor self-defense light. You chuck this in your pocket along with the uh, LH5 and you have got yourself a self-defense and EDC combo, my friends. All right, next is the T1 Pro. Now, what would a regular rotation be without a 14500? This thing is fantastic, and it's arguably one of the best 14500s out there because of the candela and the lumens. It's just phenomenal. So this has three modes. First mode always comes on in medium, so it's not too much and not too little. That's, I think, about 360 lumens, uh, 12,000 candela, okay? So that is a fantastic mode for it to come on in every time because this is your 14,500 for those medium to large jobs. It's bloody beautiful. If you need a compact light that packs a whopping punch, this is your answer, my friends. But it doesn't stop there because all I need to do is from on, off on, now that's high mode. High mode is 540 lumens and about 20,000 candela or 21,000 candela. This thing bloody goes. This goes up to about 300 meters or something. It's fantastic. This is basically your dedicated compact 14,500 tactical slash throwing light. It's just phenomenal and it belongs in this lineup. But it's got that hidden mode again. So one, two, three, four, click it on. Look at that. A beautiful low mode, about 80, 85 lumens, something like that just over 2,000 candela, still reaches a long, long way, but you can have uh, extended run time with this because this will go for about eight hours like that. So, uh, whereas the high mode will last for about 40 minutes and medium's about an hour and 10 or something like that. So, this light is phenomenal because it does it all. So, just go back. Now, from off, full click, medium, 360, 365 lumens. From off, one, two, high, 540 lumens, over 20,000 candela. From off, one, two, three, four, low mode, 86, 85 lumens, two and a half thousand candela. Bloody beautiful compact light, compact thrower, compact EDC, compact tactical. This thing kinda covers it all. And just check out the emitter and the smooth reflector. One of the most beautiful 14500s on the market. You're gonna love it. So this one belongs in the rotation. Now, last but certainly not least, and I really mean certainly not least, you've got yourself the Welltool T17. This is my dedicated, robust, knock-around, indestructible light. If I'm going camping or fishing or in the outdoors anywhere and I need an extended period of runtime with a generous amount of lumens, I'm grabbing the Welltool T17. This thing puts out 600 lumens. Look at that. That's the 5,000K uh, emitter. You can also get the 6,500K emitter. I opted for the 5,000K SFT40, smooth reflector. 
This light has a potted head, meaning that the electronics are all potted in uh, poxy, I think it is. What that means is you can put this on a gun and fire it and the recoil's not gonna dislodge any of the uh, electronics. This light is also able to go be submerged to like 10 meters or something underwater. Uh, actually, if you haven't checked it out, I've got about a five to 10 minute video. I think it's like an eight minute video of um, this being being run over by cars and thrown in water and stuff. I just did it myself. But um, yeah, you should go check that on the channel because this thing is just very robust. It's awesome that it takes Ethereum switchback, but it also takes Ethereum deep carry. So you can deep carry this as well as um, chuck it on the switchy. It has a forward clicky switch, so you can momentary, you can signal, whatever you want. And this thing is going to be more difficult to destroy than not. So if you set out to destroy the Welltool T17, you'll be at it for a while. Reason why this is in my regular collection of Welltools is because this one, as I said, is the one that you want to pick up when you're going to do something that is going to potentially involve dropping your light, anything around water, anything that's kind of robust and rugged work, you want the Welltool T17. You've got that 600 lumens for over three hours. Over three hours runtime, just like that. Bang, 600 straight big ones for over three hours. You also have one, two, three, four, the old hidden low mode. I can't actually remember how many lumens that is. I want to say it's between five and 20 lumens. Uh, it could be 15, I don't know. I reckon it's between five and 20. And I think it might be bang on 20 actually. But that's going to run for like 80 hours or something like that. Something ridiculous. So you have the option for a hidden low mode but you have every time you turn it on, 600 lumens for three hours. This is the bloody perfect camping light. You take one of these, uh, you take the provided battery that Welltool gives you and one other 18650 battery, and you are probably gonna be set for the entire camping trip. You just don't be stupid. When you're going for bushwalks, you put it on the 600 lumens, no dramas. When you're around the campsite, you get it to the low mode, no dramas. In the tent, around the campsite, this is all you're gonna need. So you drop this in the water, you just go pick it up. You drop it off a cliff. If you can get down there, you climb down and pick it up. You run this over with the four wheel drive, you dust it off and you put it back in your pocket. This thing is a friggin' beast and it belongs in the Welltool regular rotation lineup. Now let's cut to night shots and then we will come back for some final thoughts and where to buy. But just before I do, with the exception of the T17 and the T12, you can buy all these lights from lightshop.com.au right now. I'm gonna link all of these separately. These two have not landed at lightshop.com.au yet, so I will link these directly at Welltool. The T12 and the T17 will be linked directly at Welltool, but the LH1 head and the body separately or together, the LH5 head separately or together on the body, the T2 TAC and the T1 Pro are all available at Light Shop right now. I will link them all. Let's go to night shots. Catch you later. All right, kicking things off with the T12. So this is the program mode that I have it in. And this is instant low momentary. Very useful. And then a full click does that. Are you kidding me? Look at that, top of the tower, scorching hot hot spot. Amazing. So, bedside self-defense light. Why? Because instant low, instant turbo. With one click of the button. Of the button, man. Bloody incredible. This thing is legitimately off its head. It's just amazing. All right. What do we got next? T1 Pro. And believe it or not, that is on the medium output. Because that is on the highest output. Can you believe it? So that is your ultra compact thrower, but 
if you want it for the small jobs, not the throwy jobs. One, two, three, four. Give me some low mode, why don't you? Just check your shoes, mate. Still got decent candela, but also it is uh, dim enough to use for the close-up jobs. Now, off, medium, high. Awesome. Just awesome. All right, what's next? Look at that, the ultimate pocket thrower. The LH1 head. You are kidding me. See how it just doesn't disturb too many things. Not like the T12 that just has a crazy amount of light. Look at that, you could stare at anything up there in the top of that tower and you're not gonna disturb your neighbors. Just fantastic. 89,000, I think 600 candela. 89,600 or around there. Definitely over 89,000. Just phenomenal. And let me just walk a little bit forward, bring you over here. Look at that. That's your pocket thrower, guys. That's what that does. Just step back now. That thing's no joke. And then if I step over here, go to the tree behind the uh, building there, no dramas at all. And this sustains it, man, because it's not gloom and greedy, so it sustains the output. Look at that beam. Come on. All right. LH1 head. What's next? The T2 tack. Now, see how I spoke about the size of the hotspot? It's enormous. That's why this thing's going to blind bloody three people at once. That's what's so cool about this light epic amount of light coming out of it but the candela is just spot on so that the hot spot grows enough to be just consuming all consuming amazing through hole cooling so it's not going to get too hot too quick but look at that, that is so super bright. All right, that's the T2 tack. What do we got next? All right, there's the LH5 head. Now we're just gonna go, let's go over here. This is the high CRI, EDC. That's on low, so it's really great for the close-ups. But then off and on, I mean, tell me that's not enough. Tell me that's not enough. And it makes everything look beautiful. Because it is high CRI. Gorgeous. Very beautiful mixed beam as well. This makes for a fantastic EDC light. It really does. Nice and compact, 18350, high CRI, two outputs. Low, high. All right. Last but not least, the T17. The indestructible 600 lumen beast three hour, three hour plus runtime. This is the 5000K, so a bit better color temperature in my opinion for just, you know, easy on the eyes and stuff. But this is a great multi-purpose light. Just great.
All right, that's it, guys. Which one would you pick? Because I have them all for different applications in my world. See ya. All right, so as you saw there, I'm not lying. These things produce exactly what you want them for. You know, the T2 TAC being your dedicated self-defense outdoor light is just simply perfect for it. I will link this at lightshop.com.au and for anyone abroad, I'll link it at Weltel. The T12 programmable light is your phenomenal bedside light, but also basically used for anything. So the, the fact that it's programmable, you can just quickly program it into whatever mode you want. But for me, it's the bedside self-defense light. I will link this at Welltool Direct, and when it comes available at Light Shop, I'll link it at Light Shop. The T1 Pro, it's your pocket's best friend. You know, the compact light, I think this comes in at like 80 bucks or something. Uh, I will link it at Light Shop. I'll also link it at Welltool for those who do not live in Australia, but this is your dedicated pocket rocket. The LH5 head, this is your EDC, man. High CRI, 4000K, low high. What more do you want? Perfect EDC, love it. The LH1 head, as I said, you saw, look at how this thing performs at nighttime. Absolutely incredible. This thing has the best hotspot. It's just perfect. And finally, the Weltool T17, your robust, indestructible light that you can take anywhere. So I'm gonna link all of these lights at Light Shop and the ones that aren't at Light Shop, like I said, the T17 and the T12, I'll link at Weltool, but I'll also link the others at Weltool uh, for those of you who don't, who don't live in Australia. Highly recommend these six lights. As I said, they're in my regular rotation. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and until next time, stay cool and stay safe. See ya.